Honey, I'm home. I've got great news. Honey? Honey? Mr. Caldwell. Mr. Caldwell. What was the good news? I got a promotion. A promotion? What do you do? Does it matter? It could. I'm just trying to help you. Were there any people that would have wanted to harm your wife? Friends? Co-workers? She was a fucking meteorologist. She didn't have any enemies. It's not like she was a cop. Watch your tone, pal. We're just doing a... We're just trying to figure out who did this. We don't have any other suspects right now. Other? Well, 40% of murdered women are killed by their husbands. Are you implying I killed my wife? Are you aware that your wife was having an affair? Sounds like a motive to me. She wasn't having an affair. She loves me. She would never do that. Well, we have evidence to prove otherwise. She was talking to a man for months. She had been meeting up with them. At least that's what the texts say. Where did you find this? Your wife's bedside table. You had no right to go through our personal things. Mr. Caldwell, please be realistic. This is a murder investigation. Your home is a crime scene. We had every right to go through your stuff. What is there? Something you didn't want us to find in the house? No, of course not. If you're innocent, just work with us here. All we want to do is find out who killed your wife. And her supposed affair? Who the hell is Trinity? Let's not change the subject. We're talking about you here. You must know that the evidence we got doesn't look good for you. Well, I'm just trying to figure out who killed my wife. Something that you should be doing. Trust me, Mr. Caldwell, this is what we do. Here's what I think happened. Somewhere down the line, you find out that your wife's cheating on you. And this makes you angry and upset, rightfully so. You're stressed about work and trying to provide for a woman who just throws it all away to another man. You can't face this fact, so you confront her about it. And I guess in the heat of the moment, you... This is my wife we're talking about. She means everything to me and nothing, and I mean nothing in this world could possibly compel me to kill the woman I love. Loved. And I wouldn't be so sure about that. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I can't do this right now. I can't do this right now. I need a minute. I need a minute. What the hell were you doing in there? I took it too far. I'm just pushing him a little bit. What's wrong with that? We give him the bait, we get the confession. Knock it off. We go by the books, you know that. The book doesn't get results. I do. We can get a confession out of him, we just need to break him. And we break him fairly. We have plenty of usable evidence. Don't waste it. You saw the crime scene, St. Clair. That man is a fucking animal, and you're just going to sit here and defend him? Nobody's sitting here and defending him. I want to see justice just as much as you do, but there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. You know which way is the good one. I'm telling you, he's lying straight to our face. We're not getting anywhere by being civil with him. We need to put pressure on him to get him behind bars. How we go about doing that doesn't matter. The ends do not justify the means, Morrison. There's no lying. There's no scare tactics. Go in there with the cold, hard facts. That's it. I'm gonna go get him some water. Sorry it took so long. We know that you were the one that placed the 911 call. What we don't understand is that the call came in immediately after the attack happened. 
As far as we know, you were the only one in the house with your wife. Let's talk about your criminal history, Mr. Caldwell. Two accounts of assault in the last three years. Recently, you attacked a man at a bar with a blood alcohol level of .09. Those charges were dropped. Besides, I'm not that man anymore. That's behind me. Well, your two DUIs would beg to differ. You seem to enjoy yourself around alcohol. Any chance you decide to celebrate your new promotion with a few drinks? Fuck off, detective. You're insane. Look in the mirror, Mr. Caldwell. You're dangerous. You had too many drinks with your peers after finding out about your promotion. You get home drunk, and with your current condition and the knowledge that your loving wife may not be so loving, you lash out. Maybe you two have a fight. Either way, you were the only person there at the time of her death. I think you killed your wife. Screw this. Screw you. I'm not saying another word until my lawyer's here. Listen here, you little Morrison! If you can't control yourself, get the fuck out. Sorry for the outburst and the unprofessionalism. Let's call it a night. In other news, we have an update on the murder case of Antonia Caldwell. Her husband, Wesley Caldwell, and his legal team are filing a report for police misconduct against Detective Zachary Morrison. Stay tuned for further details.